Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In this video lecture, we will discuss the topic shear stress of a beam. You all know that the shear stress formula of a beam is Q, small q is equal to VQ by IB. In this video, I will derive this formula now you see in this this is a beam subjected to a point load p so the beam will bend like this now we have chosen a rectangular part a b c d within the beam We are magnifying this portion this is A B C D <coughs> Let this is small portion dx and this is dy now I will get clear the concept of shear stress and also the complementary shear. You see this is a rectangular very small box within the beam. As the beam bends like this, so in any plane the beam is subjected to a shear force. Let's this is Q. This is also Q. When there is a stress Q in this parallel to this plane, in their perpendicular plane also, there will another shear stress develop. Let this is Q dash. This Q dash is called complementary shear. Now these two shear are equal. Let's derive this. For this force Q this rectangular box is subjected to a moment like this clockwise moment and for this q dash the moment is in the anti-clockwise direction now let's assume a thickness of this block which is equal to t so these two moments are equal as this rectangular small rectangular section is in equilibrium so these moments are equal uh, so what is the force the uh, shear stress into area the q is subjected on the area dy into t so we got the force and the force are acting between the distance dx so the coupled moment is force into distance and for this q dash is acting on dx into t and the distance between these two plane is dy so you get q equal to q dash so the complementary shear is equal to the actual shear now 
I will go into more detail of this derivation of the formula. You see, this is our beam. We we take a small section at a distance x and whose width is dx. Now, if we draw the bending moment diagram of this beam, we get like this. If moment here is m at a distance x plus dx the distance dx apart the moment is more let the moment is m plus dm now we are taking this portion into our consideration of derivation of this formula we zoom into this area so we have zoom into this portion this is the neutral axis of this section The section here the moment is m and the section here the moment is m plus dm now let us draw the bending stress distribution at both these two sections The section uh, bending stress distribution here will be like this. We are concerned about this portion. Now, to get shear on this plane, let this is y and this is y1. this distance is dx so what is this value mm, what is this value you all know that bending stress is equal to m y by i is the formula of bending stress so this will be m y by i and this will be m plus dm y by i what will be this m y1 by i and this will be m plus dm y1 by i now we are zooming into this portion it is 
the portion in our concern here now we have zoomed into this area as i have drawn earlier uh, this is the bending stress at these levels mm. let this smaller section i am denoting uh, one two three four now as a result of this bending stress this portion is subjected to a force so the force acting on this plane is the resultant of this force let this is t24 minus t13 to see what is this force t13 and t24 this t13 is nothing but the integration of this bending stress if you integrate this bending stress into the area here you get total force acting on this face so p13 is equals to here integration y2 y1 my by i du Similarly, T24 is equal to integration Y2, Y1, M plus DM, Y by I of DA. So, the difference between these two forces is the shear force acting on this area t24 minus t13 so if you integrate uh, subtract this uh, subtract this from this you get integration y2 y1 dm by i into y d. now what is the shear stress it is the force per area let b is the width of the beam section at a level y at a level y from the neutral axis hope you understand this if you see this beam from here if this is the section of the beam and you are doing this the y is here then this width this width is b <clears throat> so this area is b into dx so the shear stress is shear force by b dx you get y y1 dm by i b into dx into y da as you all know that dm dx you all know that dm dx the derivative of moment is shear so we are getting the constants out of the integration so we get v by i into b and within integration 
y y one y d a we are terming this as a capital q so we get the equation of shear stress q equals to vq by ib we all know v equals to shear force I equals to moment of inertia about neutral axis what is B B is the width of the section at a depth y from any and what is q it is first moment of area below or have uh, the level where stress value is required so the q is integration y to y1 here here this is section uh, this is y this is y1 so we are integrating y into da the area from y to y1 so this is the first moment of area below or above the level where the stress value is required so we've got the formula of shear stress of a beam vq by ib uh, in the next video, I will do an example of shear stress de uh, determination of a beam with a re uh, rectangular cross section and also how to draw the shear stress distribution along a cross section of a beam for a rectangular, circular, uh, I shape, T shape beams i will demonstrate in the next videos so to stay updated with my channel being civil hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button thanks for watching happy learning stay tuned